In a previous video, we showed you how to configure a rule to synchronize a bucket to an external system. In this video, we'll show you step-by-step -step how to use Hitachi Content Platform for CloudScale to configure a rule to synchronize a bucket from an external system to retrieve objects processed externally. For this example, we'll use an existing HCP for CloudScale bucket as the sync from bucket an existing Amazon Web Services, or AWS, Simple Storage Service, or S3, bucket as its source, and a Simple Queue Service, or SQS, Messaging Queue, to signal when an object is available. You can use HTTP for CloudScale API methods to configure the sync from triggering rule in SQS Queue, but we will use the HTTP for CloudScale S3 console and its convenient graphical user interface instead. Before you begin, you must configure the AWS output bucket to send an event notification to the SQS queue whenever an object is created in the bucket. We'll start with you logged into the S3 console application and displaying the sync from bucket that you want to use. You must configure at least one rule to retrieve objects. You can create multiple complex rules for the same object that fire based on an object's name prefix, name suffix, or tag value. But for this example, We'll create one simple rule, trigger whenever an object is available, that copies the object from the sync from target. From the S3 console, select the bucket you want to use. Click the Properties tab to display the bucket policies. In the Sync From Replication panel, click Configure. Then, click Add Rule. By default, the rule applies to all objects. Now, select the S3 bucket type. Here we're using Amazon S3, which sets the S3 host name. Select the addressing model. Here we'll use virtual hosted style. Select the protocol. AWS uses the default value of HTTPS. Enter the region for your bucket. Enter the target S3 bucket name. Enter your AWS access key. Enter your AWS secret key. Now that you've configured the remote bucket connection, be sure to test it. Now let's configure the AWS SQS queue. Enter the queue's name. Now enter the queue's region. If access to the queue uses the same credentials as the source bucket, click Use Bucket Access Key and Secret Key. Otherwise, enter your AWS Access Key and Secret Key for the queue. Now that you've configured the connection to the queue, be sure to test it. When you're finished, click Done, and then click Add Rule. Finally, click Update to save the rule. You have now successfully configured and verified the Sync From rule. And that is how you configure an HCP for CloudScale Sync From Bucket rule. Thanks for watching.